The Chemical Risk Identification and Mitigation Programme, CRIMP, is a chemical security outreach programme delivered by Interpol in partnership with member countries. It aims to bring together all the agencies and organisations that are stakeholders in the chemical security arena. This includes some that may not be traditionally considered, such as schools, universities and trade associations. Of course we engage with key players such as manufacturers, transport companies, importers, customs and retailers, as well as law enforcement, border control and other government ministries and departments that oversee legislation and compliance activity. The first phase of CRIMP includes training delegates in different models of risk assessment, both at an operational but also at a strategic level, and that allows the delegates to identify the chemicals that are at the highest risk to their country based on a number of factors. With this information, we move to the second phase, where work with all the agencies that we've been involved with, we look to develop sustainable and maintainable countermeasures that will prevent these chemicals getting into the hands of criminals and terrorists. This can be at a policy level, where we'll look at legislation, but also at a more operational level by raising public awareness. We've recently completed the programme in Iraq, and it's great to report on some significant successes there. We've shared with Interpol member countries some policies that Iraq follow as examples of international best practice. Iraq have driven through some changes that strengthen certain areas of their legislation and at a more operational level, led by the Interpol National Centre Bureau in Baghdad and supported by the CBRN unit from the Ministry of Interior, Iraq have introduced a number of awareness raising activities that include school visits, test purchase activity for retailers which encourage the reporting of suspicious behaviour and finally they run some major awareness raising events where other emergency services and government bodies attend and observe simulations which highlight the risk but also the specialist capability that Iraq has to deal with any such incident.